Hey guys, Anime Gypsy here with another Shokugeki no Soma review. And to be honest, this chapter isn't great, but it really does have a few surprises, a few things that caught me off guard. But overall, this this, this chapter this chapter is just just okay. It's it's mainly there for story progression, and it has a few woes here and there. Now. Let's start with the announcement of the next bout, which is going to be the final bout. How should I say this? I mean, this is this is impressive. Um, what we've seen so far in this series of battles has been phenomenal. It's nothing like anything we have seen in the series at all. Everything we have seen in Shokugeki no Soma doesn't even compare to the to the dishes we have seen prepared. This. Uh, this arc it, it just doesn't because everything we've seen prepared this arc has just been in an entirely different different league and i really like it and we're reaching the end of this arc and it's you know i'm kind of kind of sad because i really wanted to see more of momo want to see more of saito sub we want to see more of those characters but we most likely won't and you know the train has to just go by and you have to just sit there and look ahead into the future, the new characters that we're going to get introduced to in the series. So, just thought I'd throw this out there. And the next bout is going to be powerful. Basically, what's going to happen next bout is, the next bout is going to be... It's basically, two. everyone prepares two dishes, but they're part of a single course. So you have an appetizer and a main dish. And the thing here is... Uh, Charles is Anime World, in one of his reviews, said something along the lines of uh, Tsukasa Ishii is kind of selfish, takes stuff from others, so on and so forth. And I do agree with the notion that he, he made, saying that, you know, Satoshi, it said that Ishi, the Ishii is dyslexic, Tsukasa Ishii. Um, sorry, he's dyslexic, what am I saying? It's autistic. Um, and he is somewhat selfish because we've seen him do a few things and he only cares about his dish and improving his dish rather than improving others. Now, I think this is going to be his downfall because I think his dish is going to be better than everyone else's dish. But it won't correlate well with Rindo's dish because I don't think, I don't think he knows how to work with others. I, I really don't. And I think that's his one weakness. And I think Senzaimo knew that was his weakness and that's why he basically made this bout. Now, moving on, we basically see a scene where, and this is the first, like, whoa, surprise. We see a scene where, sends, where uh, sorry, Azami Nakiri is in a, what looks like a one-bed one one hotel room. A single. With two blazing hot WGO uh, chefs. And they're in bed, right next to him. And I don't know what this is insinuating. I previously said that, you know, he does look like the type of person that would cheat on Erina's mom. A lot of people have been saying that, yeah, Erina's mom's probably dead. And I think that's the case. Or either that or he's just cheating on her. and uh, Or they, they, they may be divorced after, you know, the whole thing. I was surprised. I was like, dude. Dude's getting chicks. I was like, oh, come on. That was surprising to me. That was definitely, that was a, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, I knew, I knew that Shokugeki no Soma has the whole, you know, uh, fan service thing, but I didn't know characters be getting mad pussy in this series. I didn't. And that was a surprise. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah. Uh. That, that was the first woe. The second woe was later on when we see them and they're both basically almost comatose asleep. And they're just walking like zombies like, oh my god, I need I need the bed. I, I need the bed. I need to be real hard. And, and that was kind of funny. It's it's also odd because, was it just me or that that moment kind of looked like a sibling-ish moment where like it's a moment you'd have with your sister now i'm not saying that you know erina is so my sister no 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 we we both know that that's not the case but it kind of seemed like a sibling-ish best friend-ish type moment where you know it's <laughs> they're going through that same thing and uh, you know that whole spiel 
Now, it's kind of interesting to see how uh, Kogo is able to take in the reins and basically give orders this chapter, which is something I didn't expect from him. And it's kind of weird because it seems like his character made a complete 180 in terms of characterization and the way his character is being portrayed because Koga has been this... He's been angry almost every single panel we've seen him in. But as of the whole Hokkaido arc, he's been very chill. And that's been surprising. That's been very surprising because whenever I think of Koga, I think of, ah, you know, like anger and fury and all that jazz. And I know you guys might be wondering, because this is the end of this review. Uh, I'm just going to give you a few words about what I think is going to happen next chapter, and that's going to be the end. And the reason this review is very short is because Egypt's Wi-Fi Egypt's wi is pretty bad, and if I make my review regular size, then it's going to take forever to download. But what I think is going to happen next chapter is I think we're not going to end the fourth bout. We're probably just going to see either either Soma and Erna's dish first or Rindo and Tsukasa's dishes first. And we'll probably have that whole spiel, but we wouldn't see the end of it. And as to what they're going to make, I have no idea. Especially, especially because Rindo and Soma are in this Shokugeki. Both of them are wild cards. You have no idea what the heck they're going to make. That's the thing. Like with Aldini, you know it's going to be some sort of Italian food, okay? With Soma, you just you just don't know. You, you just don't know. Be because he's a wild card. He, he's a mad genius. <laughs> like, like, that's what it goes down to. That's what it boils down to. And it's, it's fun. It's really fun seeing especially Soma and Rindo fight because you don't know what they're going to make. And it's going to be something crazy and innovative and unique. And that's what I love about Jokugeki no Soma. It expands our understanding of the culinary arts. That's... That's something that is just beautiful. I'm not in it for the chicks. I'm in it for the for the cooking lessons and occasionally the chicks. But the cooking lessons and occasionally the chicks. Okay, so if you like this video, please leave a like. And until next time, guys, this is Anime Gypsy. And I'm out. See you guys later. Bye.